so the other night well, after we had the car loaded Levon told me to come to the office and watch a video and he proceeded to show me a video of the car on the dyno and we watched this line flop around like a wet noodle so I threw together a little bit of a last minute uh, supply kit and we brought some aluminum flat strap and a couple of cable clamps along and so this morning I fashioned myself a very high-tech little brace but hopefully this will keep us from having any high pressure fuel lines breaking so uh, sometimes it's not about perfection it's about getting the job done so I guess hopefully this will get the job done this weekend. season opener for Outlaw Diesel Super Series and this is the day before the event and we are attempting to do some testing today. So we will hopefully make some progress today after the winter that we've had of data and dyno and finding out what doesn't work and what does work. So we will see how today, today goes. guarantee you I'm going to go back and look and as soon as the wheelie bar comes on the ground that tire is going to be out of shape. Let's go. Like I'd almost like to go up 100 on this hit. Well this will see. I put I put 10 milligrams in so if the fuel quantity is there it's going to add a good bit more power okay. on the initial coup. But I also see my, my air fuel ratio drops before it comes up, so there there is a little delay from the time the nitrous comes in. So we're going to make that first move with boost. And boost. Beautiful weather. We've been up to the line three times. Uh, first two times resulted in a good bit of tire shake. Just had a really slow tire early. And so as much as it didn't seem like the right thing to do, we kept adding power to it, uh, mostly by adding RPM on the hit. And the last time uh, we added enough and it actually went down, got a complete pass in, went 418 at 183. So that gives us something to work with. So pretty happy with that for starters. Uh, still a 106 60 foot, so yeah. lots of Real things to work on, but uh, you know, data to start chipping away at. Yeah, I'm going to say there's a shaft no longer connected. There's no clutches to burn up in that one. No. Yeah, we got the front and the back. You gotta go out the back. And it made many rotations, not just that little bit. It's supposed to look like that one. This spun. That's that's supposed to line up. It's not good. I've done it twice. I need mates. Weep, 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 weep. Noises yeah, right the the These people do this in clear water. It's only like an hour and a half away from here. Okay. So we can call them up and they can bring another one. Okay. But the fastest solution for sure is grabbing this, going to advanced driveline, make them Where's make the whole thing in Cromali over here in Orlando. It'd be like three, four hundred bucks. That's what I did for John the last time we had a problem over here. 
One broken carbon drive shaft, one new Kermali drive shaft with tacky paint. All right, we are getting geared up for qualifying day here at Orlando, and we broke our drive shaft last night, so it left us scrambling a little bit. Uh, we ended up over at the drive shaft shop this morning. We're there when they opened up at eight o'clock this morning, and we got a Kermali drive shaft built to put in it. Uh, talk to the folks over at PST, not really an option to get one of those in time. The cure time on a carbon shaft is too long. Putting the Carmali in for the weekend should work just fine. And we'll see how qualifying goes today. Uh, due to the shaft breaking last night, we didn't quite get as far as we would have liked with our testing stuff. So we're going in a little bit blind, but I'm guessing we'll build off of our 418 and make a few adjustments. I hope it goes down and uh, see where it goes from there. Friday all wrapped up and we did not make the 
down the track today. We actually shook the tires on both of our qualifying passes, but we got the drive shaft back in this morning, so we're able to make both our qualifiers. The track is really good here, and the car's got a lot of bite in it, and it's finding a fine line between uh, not enough power or too much power, and we've found both of those in Q1 and 2. Hopefully Q3, we have a little bit more luck tomorrow. Uh, but that's racing. It's all about taking the data that we learn and seeing how we can do it better the next day. So we're going to hopefully have a good night of burnouts tonight. There's a bunch of truck action tonight and then we'll go into racing tomorrow. It is Saturday morning and we're getting ready for Q3 and we have yet to get down the track so we're probably making a little bit more wholesale changes than what's smart. We had a set of new tires in the trailer. We decided we're going to throw new tires on it and then last night I was talking with John Mellon for a while from Minsker. We are just kind of talking through a bunch of our data and what we were seeing, trying to figure out kind of what the best plan of action is. One of the things we talked about was our RPMs, like the flash, and how we're actually seeing a point in the data where it's dragging our RPMs backwards. So like it, the RPMs of the engine are dropping and that triggered it, it for him right, pretty quick. He said, you know, it means the stator's too tight. So if you're able to drag your engine or if your engine gets drugged backwards like that, then you've got too much, too tight of a coupling between the engine and the tire and that may be part of our problem with tire shake. So we decided we are going to do a stator change this morning. We're gonna go a step looser on the stator and uh, we're gonna put our tune-up back in it. We're gonna see, yeah, what happens. It, I feel like it's a little bit of a long shot to make it go down in one pass, but uh, we're trying.
And so last night we made the decision to change tires and we changed the stator, went to a looser stator in the converter, so we had no 60 foot data. Um, kind of just threw it against the wall and it stuck. 60 foot was really slow and a 109 to the 60 foot, but that gives us a, uh, a good recipe to go into elimination. So even if uh, eliminations doesn't go the way we want it to, we got the car to bump and we went 194 and that's a win for today. So we're going to take the win one round at a time and go on for eliminations round one. Six, seven, seven, eight. Would have been semifinals. Uh, we wound up against Enrique and his Duramax, a uh, little Colorado truck, and did the burnout. And the car shut off after the burnout with a nitrous solenoid that was stuck open. So we got nitrous shut off, back it up, uh, pulled the front clip. Honestly, I tested the solenoid like one or two times and it unstuck itself. So, threw the front clip back on. They were gracious enough and gave us the time to look at it and fix it and ended up making it down the down the track. I think he broke a sprag and we were, I'd say probably past the 3.30 and it, the power cut out. Uh, we believe the issue was a loose, battery terminal so idiot us didn't have that fixed so we are looking over data getting the car wrapped up and getting ready to go to the finals piston and with the air to water and everything we didn't know how much power or you know if we're making good top end power but that answered all those questions uh, we went a you know 412 with a for this car a slow 60 foot we went 109 to the 60 
and uh, we would like for that to be, you know, a 100 or better. So if we can start learning the 60 foot and get that incorporated with the mile per hour, we're going to have a rocket on our hands. Um, so come Rock Rockingham, we're hoping to do some more testing. Um, get the guys either from Reese Brothers or have the guys from Mensker help us do some chassis tuning and uh, hopefully we can start you know hauling the mail consistently so today we made three trips and out of those three it went down twice um, the third pass we did it run driving to some tire shake and it ended up shutting the car off and uh, watched Johnny drive out of our lives but Johnny went 410 in the finals and uh, went 184 so he reclaims the ET record and we go home with the mile per hour record and uh, overall a really good beautiful weekend here in Florida and uh, we're going to start our long journey home and hopefully make it home, you know, in decent time tomorrow.